everybody, welcome back to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can upload um, a premium resource to Spigot MC. Now people have been asking me this for a little while because no one decides to actually read their documentation on how you're able to do this. So we're going to go over everything about it, how it works, what happens, and um, how it actually works, how you upload it, how you get it approved, all of that. So, let's go over the ground rules. Like, I'll, I'll leave a link to this thread in the description because no one decides to read it apparently because I keep getting asked about that um so let's go over so um yeah pretty much um so all payment disputes go through the payment processor so spigot handles none of the money all the money goes from the buyer to you you have to deal with any chargebacks or any issues you have with it you don't they don't have any legal right over it it's none of that so let's that's pretty much what all this is saying so let's go over what the section requirements are so right now it's an eight week old account. So you have to be registered to Spigot for eight weeks. You have to have 80 posts and 20 positive rep ratings, which means you have to be a part of the community before you start uploading stuff that's paid. The reason they do this is because they don't want someone just coming in, uploading a bunch of paid resources and then not being a part of the community at all. You have to have a good standing. So you have to have at least 80 posts and 20 positive ratings from other users. You also must have three free resources. The reason why this is here is because they kind of want to make sure that you're not just doing it for the money you have something to support the community with everybody knows that you're legit you have um you have all of that and then you have to have two-step verification enabled which includes like email confirmation or ss or um the app uh, verification they do this to protect your account um yes and in the two years they've run the section not one user has been failed to be promoted within a week one hour of meeting the requirements so don't message them about um, missing out if you don't have these requirements. Then the resource rules. These are like the ones that you have to follow. Intellectual property. You have to have all the work you all the um, rights to the work you're submitting. You cannot submit someone else's work. Um, they will remove anything that um, is reported to have a DMCA request or anything. So you you have to agree you own everything. Even the code inside your plugin, you have to be able to be the one who wrote it. You can't steal it. You can't do any of that. Then you got your resource approval. Now, you can't just upload a premium resource and then make money immediately. You have to wait for their moderators to accept it. There are some requirements for, pre for premium resources to follow. They can't be a low effort resource. This means that like with less than 10 uh, kilobytes of code, con contain be beginning programmer mistakes are simulated to those produced by tutorials or examples. Um, you, if it is a low, if you get rejected for low effort, um, you're encouraged to submit it as free re resource. But if you do want to appeal, you can appeal to resources at spigotmc.org. Um, common resources may be may be ones that are rejected. Um, those are Crate Key, Kit PVP plugins, Particle plugins, Hub gadgets, UHC plugins, and Skywars plugins. Those are normally rejected because there's so many of them, and um, they will not be approved under on any circumstance. So you you can't appeal it. They're not going to be approved. They're not going to be paid. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. Resource descriptions could be of good quality. This means that there has to be a lot of detail on your page. They should be in English, and if not in English, it should be clearly noted that they're not. This means everything on the page is English. You're clearly listing what's there, and it's good quality. So it's like pictures and uh, videos and stuff like that. Then you got your uh, DRM and obfuscate. I can never say that word, but it's hiding your code. Um, you are allowed to hide your code. But it must be leg somewhat legible by the staff so they can see if you have any like force op or anything and drm systems are sometimes allowed but they follow these things they must run directly from the internet uh they must run run directly from the download file without any internet access which means you can't put a licensing system you can't like force them to enter a code those are all prohibited they must not interfere with that outside the server itself so you can't have a plugin that deletes the server files if it's leaked or something like that and they treat all DRM abuse with the highest uh, levels, which means they will suspend your account and resource if you do any of this. And they may remove it at any time. Resources must be plugins, so they can't be configure files, they can't be web resources on any of those. They don't work, they won't accept them. Um, the resources must not depend on any other premium resource. So if you have a resource that's like an add on to Epic World Generator, you cannot have that. Um, it will be rejected. And the pricing, it's up to you to price. The, ma the minimum price is 99 cents. The maximum price is 19.99, which means that you, um, you should read this thread about how they are, um, how you should price your resource. And the activity is resource with no updates in six months may be deemed inactive. This will move it to a um, inactive resource account. And then you have three months to claim it back by reporting the resource and releasing an update or it will automatically be deleted. So why don't we check out how, explaining how premium resources are 
um, prices are placed. So um, the ones that should be free should be free. Don't make them pay for it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, so you want a bunch of... You should read over this. I'm not going to read over this a lot, but you should read over this because it talks about developers, how to... Um, how you do it. So you want like a bunch of features, you want everything that you don't normally have on um, your own plugin. So let's go into actually how you submit it. You're gonna go to resources, you're gonna click add resource and you're gonna go down to the, all the way at the bottom where it says premium. When you're down here, you're gonna click continue. And then you're gonna get this. You're gonna enter your title. It's just like posting a free resource, but there's a few more things. You put the title, virgin string, tagline. You upload the resource. Um, it appears that you're submitting a pre, so it's asked you to read this. Um, and it goes over some of the things like that. Then you get to enter your price. So for example, I'm gonna enter $10 and you enter your PayPal account. All right, then the next section you have is the native Minecraft version. I'm gonna put legacy, um, which is anything below 1.13, which most plugins are coded on anyway because you know people still use 1.8. But 1.13 or 1.14 you would put it. Then you got your tested Minecraft versions. For my example, I'm gonna do 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13. 1 we haven't tested 1.14, we haven't tested 1.7. If you decide to open source it, which I highly recommend because all plugins could be open source, go ahead and put your source link here. Contributors, anybody who contributed to it, you must have their permission to put them here and you must have their permission to use the code they contributed. If you don't, it won't be it will be rejected and you won't be able to get it. You get your lang language supported in your donation f uh, link and then you have your information URL, support information and your description. I recommend putting a very detailed description. Let me put an example of a detailed description. Detailed description would kind of look like that. You got your titles, your permissions, your install, your pictures, then you got videos, your config files, your other videos, and all the rest of it with, uh, this is doing pretty well, I have to admit, 133 servers, that's pretty good. But um, you should have all that on your thing. And then you wait for it to be approved, and it, once it's approved, it kind of looks like this. It's going to be, um, you'll see it like this. You'll see it like this on your uh, thing. It's going to have the price here. People can buy it and they'll get the download button once they are done buying it. So pretty useful, pretty easy. And um, if you have any questions on how to do this, please message me in the comments below. Um, I'm making this video because people decide to not read the rules. Because people decide they're not to read the rules and guidelines and upload them and get rejected. So make sure you read the rules and guidelines and go over how to price a resource and everything. It will actually help you out a lot. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or uh, message us on Discord. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.